for the 50 days of Easter, the Paschal candle stands as a sign of Christ present. It stands as a light to lighten the way for all of us as Christ present. On the hillside just beyond Bethany, we could think of the light being put out as Christ returns to the Father so that in 10 days, 10 miraculous days, the Holy Spirit, the advocate, the adopter, the comforter comes to us and reminds us to change the world. We've gathered this Ascension Day to remember that just because Jesus went to the Father, we're not alone. And that we've got work to do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Join to Christ in the waters of baptism. Join to, to Christ in the waters of baptism. We are clothed with Christ's mercy and forgiveness. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters. And by your word you created the world, calling forth life into which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood you delivered Noah from his family. Through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit by water and your word, you claim us as daughters and sons, making us heirs of your promise and servants of all. We praise you for the gift of water that sustains life. And above all, we praise you for the gift of new life in Jesus the Christ. Shower us with your spirit, renew our lives with your forgiveness, grace, and love. To you be honor and praise through Jesus the Christ, our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. 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 something about getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> 
and the grace of our Lord Jesus, the Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, and also with you. God, your only Son was taken into the heavens and in your presence intercedes for us. Receive us and our prayers for all the world, and in the end bring everything into your glory. Through Jesus the Christ, our Sovereign and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen.
God speaks to us through scripture reading, preaching, and song. A reading from Acts. Luke writes, in the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up into heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Word of God, word of life. Thanks. Thanks be to God. I have heard. 
heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus the Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe according to the work of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be. be to God. <laughs> from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus the Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the eleven and those with him, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my Father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany and lifting up his hands, blessed them. And while blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple blessing God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you. To you, O oh Christ. Dear hearers of God's word, grace and peace to you from God our Creator and our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen.
Lifting up his hands, he blessed them. And although Luke tells us that they weren't really scared that he was gone, they were scared. They were pretty human, just like us. And he went to heaven. Can you imagine being told that your rabbi, your leader, your person in charge is going to die? Then going to the tomb and finding that the body wasn't there. And then being told that he'd risen, that he had done exactly what he said he was going to do. Can you imagine? And our readings today tell us once again that the people still expected that he was going to be a military leader. They still didn't get the message. And then out beyond Bethany, he tells them once again, he has to leave so that the Spirit can come so that we can get our act together. Can you imagine? Actually, I think we have to imagine. I suspect that Thursday's a bad day to have an Ascension Day service. Except it always comes on Thursday, doesn't it? It's a bad day to have a service in the middle of a society that can't imagine who Jesus really is for us. It's a bad day because Jesus isn't walking among us. Oh, wait a minute. We're walking among us. And we are his body in the world. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that people who claim to be followers of the Christ still think of him in military terms? They still think of him as guns and swords and power. They still think of him as strength and might. And yet we're told to think of him as a mother who holds a crying child. Scripture asks us to think of the Christ as a light in the middle of the darkness. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it crazy? that we are to think of Jesus not as one who brings might and weapons, but forgiveness and healing. And a love that we still can't figure out. 
Isn't it amazing that the disciples, the eleven, and those that were with them, isn't that a wonderful phrase that we never get emphasized? It wasn't just eleven, but those that were with them. We figure that it was at least 70. And we know that there were at least five women, possibly more. So right now we're up to 80 people that are standing on that hillside and they don't go and hide out. They go to the temple and as Luke writes, they worshiped him with great joy and were continually in the temple blessing God. Can you imagine that 40 days earlier, 50 days earlier, they were hiding in the upper room. They were afraid of what was going to happen to them because Jesus' body was gone. <clears throat> and he was back among them. And now he was gone again, and can you imagine what was going to happen? And where did they go? They went not to the upper room, but to the temple. With great joy and continually in the temple, blessing God. Where are we today? Well, right now, some of us are in the temple blessing God. Some of us are in our homes watching this service blessing God. There are some that we don't know where they are and we'll never know where they are and we pray that they're blessing God. And we pray that we, like the disciples, will go out into the world continually blessing God and seeking to heal it. And that those of us who claim to be people of faith will seek to heal the mourning, the alienated, those who refuse to let people be who God created them to be. You know, it's an interesting thing, this Ascension Day, all over the country, the United States. We hear people saying, well, they can't, that, we can't let that happen. We can't let this happen. We can't let those, those people. Don't you love that word, those people? Guess what, folks? We're those people. Those people. Until we understand that we're those people. Until we understand that we are out beyond Bethany, standing on the hillside, watching for the Christ. And until we go back into the midst of the world, in the public sphere, because at the time of Jesus, there was no place more public than the temple. And here the disciples, 70 or 80 or however many there were at that time, continually in the temple blessing God. Think about that. Continually blessing God. Who 
who has to have an alarm clock to wake up? Unfortunately, it's me. Yeah, I, I don't wake up without an alarm clock most of the time. But you woke up, right? Even if it was with an alarm clock, you woke up this morning. Most of you know that when I pray, I begin my prayers with, Blessed are you, O Lord our God, who gave us this day. I sometimes say, Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, for, have giving, for having given us this day. The short version more often than the long version. We stand in the temple of the world. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, for having given us this day. Where we pray for those people in Vivalde, Texas. We pray for those in Buffalo. We pray for those in LA, for those in Pittsburgh, for those at the Mother Church. We pray for those who would demand power but have no clue what power truly is. We pray on the hillside of ascension to remember that God called us to go and be empowered to change the world. When the world says, <clears throat> we remember that Jesus called us to heal the sick, house the homeless, feed the hungry, to love God with our heart, mind, body, and soul, and to love one another as he loved us. How do we do it? 10 days, Holy Spirit, Pentecost. Once again, we're remembered and reminded in 10 days. The light might go out here, but the light comes here. And for all of us who are baptized, the light is here in the water and the word. Blessed be God, who gave us this day, who gave us his son, who calls us to change the world once again. Not with power, but with love, which is more powerful than anything else we've got going for us. Blessed be God. Amen. Living together in trust and hope, we confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, 
the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus the Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Set free from captivity to sin and death, we pray to the God of resurrection for the church, the people in need, and all of creation. Holy One, ruler of heaven and earth, wash us in your Holy Spirit and make us witnesses to your resurrected life in this community. Let our fellowship be a sign to others of the presence of Christ. God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Through thundering, mighty waters, reveal your creative power at work in creation. Cleanse the air, land, and waters with the movement of your spirit and the participation of your people. God, in your mercy, hear our our prayer. In faithful and diverse worship, turn all people toward you and your loving will for humankind. Bridge differences among traditions and across faiths. Unite us in mission for the sake of a world in need. God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In the suffering and death of Jesus, draw near to those who suffer and for whom death approaches, especially Erlen Karen, Nuendorf family. Linda, Linda Karen, Karen, Dorothy, Jürgen and Annie, Davis, family, Gladys, Sally, Catherine, George, Powers, Christine, Maria, Laura, Dawn, Carol, Elsie and Fred, Didi, Bob, Kelly, Sheldon, Abelardo, Cesar, Celeste, Margaret, Donna, Jean, Lisa, Eva, Stephen, John, Hillary, George, Drew, the family, Jane, Elsie, Bob, Eleanor, Marjorie, 
hurt you, Allah, God, family. Hold them in the palm of your loving hand and give them rest. God, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. You ask us to care for those who support and envision your world among us, especially a ministry, ministry. Dying Bishop Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Bishop Paul, after Deacon Slice and passed it down. God, in your mercy, hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. Inspire us through the music, dance, and other art ministries of this congregation and community with clapping, singing, shouting, playing, moving. Let our bodies bear witness to the joy you alone can give. God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Rouse us to remember the faithful witnesses of the saints who have gone before us, especially Bill, Bill. Sister, Marianne, Mildred, Marianne, Matthew, Chris, John, Berta, Ashley, Desmond, Damian, Esther, Green. Egan, Andy, Anne, Erna, Patricia, Margaret, Bob, Selena, Lois. The ten people murdered in Buffalo, the eighteen children and two adults murdered in Texas. By their lives and the life and death of Jesus, enlighten our hearts. Give us hope and lead us in wisdom. Together, God, God in your mercy, mercy. hear yeah, our prayer. prayer. As your son died for us, we remember those who gave their lives that others might have life and freedom. Darren, Darren. Darren. Hunter, Hunter, Humberto, David, Ryan, Dylan, Dylan, Kareem, Maxon, Brian, Wilder, Timmy. God, God in, in your mercy, mercy. hear our prayer. And what else do we ask of our God? We ask that the mountains in Ethiopia, Tigray, and at Eritrea might ring with peace and healing, that the Ukraine might be free, and that the refugees might be able to find a home. For Haiti and its turmoil grant stability, healing of the land, and a return of that which was taken from them. For Afghanistan, as the people and land seek your grace. For those suffering of drought in the Great Plains and the fires that continue to burn in the Southwest. For the lives and health of our children, that they may be safe and that they may be free from fear, arrogance, and ignorance. For the conversion of those who do harm to others and themselves, especially those who are filled with anger, hate, who are alienated, fear-filled, and power-hungry, that each of us might live and function in the bodies we are given to the glory of God. that all the children of Abraham may walk in faith in the guidance of the walk of the Christ. 
in your mercy, O God. Respond to us and to those our prayers. Renew in us by your life-giving spirit. Through Jesus the Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of Christ come upon us and be with us always. And also. And also. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, ruler of heaven and earth. Day by day you shower us with blessings. As you have raised us to new life in Christ, give us glad and generous hearts, ready to praise you and to respond to those in need. Through Jesus the Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with you. Lift up our hearts. We lift them. lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior Jesus the Christ, who enthroned forever at your right hand and intercedes for us as our great high priest. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, and those that we name and love before you. We praise your name and join their unending hymn.
Praise to you for leading your people through the wilderness to the land of milk and honey. Praise to you for the words and deeds of Jesus, your anointed one. Praise to you for the death and resurrection of Christ. Praise to you for your spirit poured out on all nations. For in the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup. Gave thanks. And gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. bread and with this cup we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life as we proclaim the mystery of faith Christ, Christ has died Christ, Christ is risen Christ will we'll come again O God of resurrection and new life pour out your Holy Spirit on us and these gifts of bread and wine. Bless this feast, grace our table with your presence. Come, Holy Spirit. Reveal yourself to us in the breaking of the bread. Raise us up as the body of Christ for the world. Breathe new life into us. Send us forth, burning with justice, peace, and love. Come, Come, Holy Spirit. With your holy ones of all times and places, with the earth and all its creatures, with sun and moon and stars, we praise you, O God, blessed and holy Trinity, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today. As we forgive those who sin against us Save us from the time of trial And deliver us from evil For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours Now and forever
united with the whole church on earth and in heaven. It is declared, this is the body of Christ, bread of heaven, given for you. Receive him in faith. Amen, amen and amen. amen. It is so. United with the whole church on earth and in heaven. It is declared that this is the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation, given for you for the forgiveness of sin. Receive him in faith. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Life-giving God, in the mystery of Christ's resurrection, you send light to conquer darkness, water to give new life, and the bread of life to nourish your people. Send us forth as witnesses to your Son's resurrection that we may show your glory to all the world. Through Jesus the Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. And God sends us, blesses us, in mission to the world. Gracious God, loving all your family with a mother's tender care. As you sent the angel to feed Elijah with heavenly bread, assist those who set forth to share your word and sacrament with those who are separate from us. In your love and care, nourish and strengthen those who have and will receive this sacrament, giving us all the comfort of your abiding presence through the body and blood of your Son, Jesus the Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow down your head for the blessing. God, the author of life, Christ, the living cornerstone, and the life-giving spirit of adoption, Bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is risen, risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Go in peace. Tell what God has done in all the public places. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Thank you for coming on the people. We don't have iPad greeting iPad, so we have like a Karen is here too. So hi, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Didi. Hi, good morning, Karen. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Dowdy. Good morning, good morning. Good to see you all. Yeah. Hey, hi, Lois. Bye. You. I'm bringing shoes. As long as they're not in them. <laughs> Okay, I'm just, I'm just. 